After crossing the Mara River, the herds follow the seasonal rains and head south to the lush plains of Tanzania's Serengeti. Here, volcanic soils create pasture rich in both minerals and nutrients. And it's here that wildebeest make their longest stop on a journey that takes a year to go full circle. Their appearance has been eagerly anticipated, for lush pasture is not the only reason for this annual get-together. Each February, these plains experience the world's largest baby boom. In just three short weeks, over half a million calves will be born. It's with this moment of birth that our story begins. Africa's top predators are assembling for a very special event. They may commute the distance of two marathons to get here, but for such easy pickings, the rewards are worth it. Sides. Wildebeest calves must be ready to follow their mother from birth. He has just minutes to find his feet. To survive, the calf must master in minutes what a human baby takes a year to learn. Oh, my bad. Uh. As the choking clouds make life difficult, the herd treks southwards, seeking greener pasture and fresh water. Our spy cams travel with them. By now, the calf is used to being on the move. But as the herd approaches the lake, he is about to encounter a new challenge. Lake Ndutu is a soda lake, loaded with corrosive minerals. Although the calf must be thirsty, he has no alternative but to cross it as quickly as possible. They are moving in herds. They do move in herds. Wow. It's a, just such a strange, strange concept. Yeah. Did you see that guy accidentally hit that moose with his car? No. Holy shit. Jamie, pull that video up. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what a man look like, clack it. That's power. No. That's, That's a right. tap though. Mm. 20%. That's doable. That's doable. 